Mets manager Carlos Mendoza could barely hide his frustration after Game 5 of the National League Championship Series, and it all boiled down to one name, Shohei Otani. We tried everything, but Otani? He's a different beast, Le Mignon fumed during the post-game press conference. While the Mets have had their share of surprises this postseason, the unstoppable force that is Otani has them on the brink of elimination, and Le Mignon knows they'll need nothing short of a miracle to turn things around. Otani, who entered the NLCS in what some described as a slump, has quickly shaken off any doubt, and his bat has ignited when it matters most. The Japanese superstar is single-handedly keeping the Dodgers on course for the World Series, one win away from a showdown with the New York Yankees. His power at the plate has been jaw-dropping, and his teammate Tommy Edmond couldn't help but marvel, comparing Otani's home runs to hitting golf balls to parts of City Field that few players have ever reached. J.D. Martinez, who lost his designated hitter spot to Otani, perhaps summed it up best when he said, it's almost like a 14-year-old playing with 10-year-olds. The power Otani generates with his swing has made City Field feel almost too small for him. As the Dodgers slugger continues to blast baseballs into the stratosphere, the Mets' attempts to contain him have fallen flat. Despite all the heart and grit the Mets have shown throughout the season, clawing their way back from a dismal zero to five start, and a 22-33 record in late May. The challenge of stopping Otani feels insurmountable. Le Mignan's frustration is understandable. The Mets, facing a 3-2 series deficit, know they need a miracle to complete one of the most improbable comebacks in baseball history. But how do you stop someone who's practically rewriting the rules of the game? Otani's resurgence couldn't have come at a worse time for the Mets. In Game 5, he demonstrated why he's considered one of the most dominant players in the world. His blend of raw power and precision has left the Mets pitchers searching for answers. And while the Mets have managed to force a Game 6, their inability to figure out Otani remains their greatest hurdle. As if Otani's dominance wasn't enough, the Dodgers lineup offers no reprieve. Hot-hitting Mookie Betts is right behind Otani, and while Freddie Freeman is on the bench for now, the Dodgers' depth is terrifying. Le Mignan is left to devise a plan to cool Otani's bat, but with the way things are going, it seems even that might not be enough. For the Mets, their path to victory is daunting. They'll have to win two more games against the Dodgers, baseball's best team, and somehow overcome a bullpen that has been lights out this postseason. Michael Kopech will take the mound for the Dodgers in Game 6, making his first start since mid-September, but the Mets know that Kopech is just the beginning. The Dodgers' high-leverage relievers are all ready and waiting to close things out, making the task even harder. J.D. Martinez remains optimistic clinging to the idea that teams have come back from 3-1 deficits before. We've got a shot, he said, but with the way Otani has been swinging the bat, those words feel more like hope than confidence. The Dodgers have the momentum, and if they keep rolling like this, it will take something truly special for the Mets to pull off the upset. Le Mignon's challenge is clear. Stop Otani or watch the season slip away. The Mets have defied the odds to get this far, but Otani seems to be a force of nature standing between them and a historic comeback. With the Dodgers' offense firing on all cylinders and their bullpen ready to shut down any hopes of a rally, the Mets need to find a way to neutralize Otani. But how do you stop a player who seems destined to carry his team to the World Series? For now, the Mets will focus on Game 6, but if Le Mignan's frustration is any indication, stopping Otani might just be the impossible task that spells the end of the Mets' miraculous postseason run. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button and rate it highly. Please also subscribe to my channel, then see you in the next video.